During the 80s, when I was a small boy, there was a tour going round which my mum's friends used to sort of giggle about. This show featured men dancing around with very little on and then they had even less on. At the time, I used to wonder, as a small boy, whether what what it you do you you, you what it uh, did what what did it have to do with Alvin and the Chipmunks? Which now that I'm an adult seems quite tenuous. But now that I'm an adult, I wonder what have they got to do with 18th century furniture? Chippendale is a noun, in, and in this case, it's a proper noun, so it's someone's surname. Probably named after the town of Chipping... Chipping... Chippingdale. That was really simple, I can't believe I forgot that. I mean, it's probably named after that. That's what etymology.com says, and they're pretty good, generally speaking. Or that one person who writes that entire website is pretty good, I think. The chipping bit, by the way, is probably from the same root as cheap and chap, of which I did a video on, which I'll probably link up here, or maybe here, depending on where, which side this, I mean, if, if, you know what I'm saying. Chippingdale is also an adjective. You can use it to describe a certain type of furniture. So what about all of those other Chippendales, the, the, the men who do all the dances and stuff? Well, these are Chippendales. I mean, obviously these two aren't Chippendales. This is, this is Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley in a sketch from the 80s on Saturday Night Live that I'm not really sure I understand, but it is apparently a classic. No, actually, these are Chippendales. These, these men here doing a dance. You can see that they're doing a dance for lots of very happy ladies and they're doing it quite well. I mean... I'd rest assured that if I could get away with dancing on a stage to lots of screaming ladies, I'd be on top of that, so to speak. So to speak, yes. And this is Thomas Chippendale. He did not do dancing for ladies. He made furniture. Furniture like this, or this, or this, but not this. Thomas was born in 1718 and... From the people who know about this kind of thing, he is apparently Britain's greatest cabinet maker. Sorry, he was Britain's cabinet. I mean, he's not still alive now. That would be absurd. His fixtures and fittings and chairs and tables and cabinets and other things these days still fetch thousands of pounds, sometimes tens of thousands of pounds, sometimes hundreds of thousands of pounds, and occasionally millions of pounds. His furniture has been collected by the great and the good for the last 300 years. Which is quite amazing, really, when you think about it. One of these greats or goods, I'm not really sure which or either or if at all, because I've never met him, but I do suggest looking him up because he is fascinating, is Steve Banerjee, which is a name that I hope that I'm saying right. He liked Chippendale furniture or Chippendale style furniture, according to the website, so much that he adorned, embellished and decorated his clubs with it. He then liked it some more, so he decided to name one of his clubs after all of that furniture. He called that club Chippendales. If you liked naked men who looked like they'd been photoshopped before photoshops existed and some classy furniture, then this was the place to go. Eventually, this mix of cabinets and cocks was going so well for Mr Banerjee that he was able to open another club and then another. He then sent his dance troops of naked men out into the world to go and conquer wallets and knickers everywhere. So the name became a synonym really for all sort of types of male strippers and well I mean I, it's, it's generally sort of a catch-all term but I imagine that Chippendales aren't too happy about that and you know, it's like, well, maybe they are, I don't really know. I mean, is Hoover happy that everyone calls all Hoovers, regardless of their quality, Hoovers? Doesn't really matter anyway, because Chippendale is now a synonym for a male stripper, essentially, as, as it is, uh, well, it's, it's an adjective for a certain type of cabinet or chair. I imagine antiques dealers the world over find this quite irritating, which <laughs> I find slightly amusing, if I'm honest. It's sort of cosmically funny, you know, in sort of a infinite universe way that such dignity and grandeur built up over a reputation 300 years old is then just suddenly thrown out the window by a bunch of men who shave their balls and wiggle their willies around in front of a bunch of women. 
Anyway, I hope you're safe and I hope you're well. I'm seriously considering shaving my head. Are you? Take care of yourselves.